Honestly, I was at a point there about a week ago where I said, I'm done making Ben's videos. I'm not making any more. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. All right, well, this is not a haul video and it's not a shopping video. Today, this is a video to say, please stop complaining. <laughs> We're gonna complain about the ones that are complaining. Yeah, um, our recent bins outlet videos have gotten a lot of negativity. Um, I think that's due to some misinformation and people not really understanding how the bins work and operate or even what the bins are. I think a lot of people think that the bins are just uh, another Goodwill store, but they're not. They're a little bit different than your average Goodwill store. So we're going to talk about some of the negative comments we've been getting and I don't want anyone to feel like we are calling them out. There are a lot of people that are real genuine and asking questions because they don't understand the bins. Um, but there are also people leaving really negative, nasty comments. So if you asked a genuine question and you meant it without any ill will, um, we are not calling you out. So please don't feel like we are. But we felt like there's a lot of stuff that needs to be addressed before we can move on and start making more bins videos. Because honestly, I was at a point there about a week ago where I said, I'm done making bins videos. I'm not making any more. And then I stopped going to the bins and... You just kept going without me. <laughs> so. And it was nice because I didn't have to like leave on a whim to go pick kids up. It's like, all right, cool. I'm here by myself. I get to shop. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, gosh. So, so basically, the Goodwill Bins is not your average Goodwill. Um, the Goodwill mm -hmm. Bins is basically after all this stuff has cycled through the local Goodwill stores, it ends up at the Goodwill Bins. And if you don't buy it there on a Tuesday, by Wednesday, it's in the landfill. That's right. Or on its way to the landfill. Most of the stuff that comes in, all of the stuff that comes in, it's been through the stores once, it's been picked over, passed over, and brought to the outlet. And now, it's gone the next day, which makes it horrible when you guys are like, oh, you missed this because it's not like I can go back the next day and get it. It's gone. And I'm like, no. And you guys are like, oh, you missed that $50 purse. And I'm like, crap. It's not going to be there tomorrow. I can't go back and get it. Right. <laughs> and a lot of the stuff, the condition, the way it comes in to the outlet store, a lot of it's already damaged or close to being damaged or minimal damage, just, just whatever. But... It's already there. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> one of the negative comments repeated in our most recent uh, Goodwill video was about me being too rough looking through the bins. First of all, let me say this. When I am digging through the bins, I have an enormous camera in one hand and I am digging with my other hand. So I am trying to dig one handed through the bins and in that particular video, I was wearing cloth gloves. I didn't have the neoprene or the rubber gloves. I was just digging one-handed with cloth gloves because we forgot our gloves and had to stop at Walmart and get, you know. Um, Cheapies. Yeah, but you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, the negative comments were just a little bit overboard. It was just hammering over and over and over and over again. And some of them were not very nice. Wait, I've got one right here. Uh, for those of you who don't read my comments, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about because I pu actually pulled them up. Um, just because the items are in bins and prices are low, one should still handle the items with care for the next person looking. Yes, I cringe watching these just thinking about how much is damaged because things are literally being tossed around. It's a wonder there's anything left in the china and glassware bins such rough handling. Now, they could potentially not be referring to you necessarily. No, they were. It was referring to me. No. Um, Listen, I'm going to tell you right now. When I get into the little sections that I'm in, I'm tossing stuff. 
I'm moving it around. Everybody is. Because let me let me tell you, let me explain something to you. When I get to a bin and everything's wrapped in flipping Christmas lights, <laughs> I want to choke someone. Okay, I want to take those Christmas lights. Bring, bring it down, just just. I want to take those Christmas lights, and I want to wrap them. Stop. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. Um, Christmas lights. <laughs> There are people throwing stuff all over the place. And on that particular day, I was having a really hard time. And I didn't really need it pointed out repeatedly in the comments because I'm normally a lot more careful. And for some reason, I just could not get a grip on the plates that day with those gloves, first of all. And I felt really bad about it. But second of all, it just, you know, it, what what is it that mom used to always say? Grandma, um, if, you, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's that's the one. So it just um it just wasn't it it was just left a uh, you There's know, maybe I don't want to go. Yeah. There's a door, don't let it hit you. <laughs> it split you. Well, you know, I put out a lot of videos and if, if the bins videos aren't for you, then you can skip those videos. I put out tons of shopping videos at the regular Goodwill stores where I handle stuff with care because I'm not wearing cloth gloves and you are welcome to watch those videos if maybe the bins videos aren't for you. Um so that's the beauty of being an American. You get to watch what you want, or not what you don't want. <laughs> you gotta love it. Oh gosh. Um, what else is there? There was more. Rules and regulations, you can't film there. You're not allowed. Did we not talk about that yet? No. Oh, um, we get a comment a lot. You're not allowed to film. You're not there. allowed to film in the Goodwill bins. Uh, here's the thing. Every Goodwill has its own region, and each region has its own set of rules. Correct. There is a region in Texas, um, on, right on their website, it says you're not allowed to film without prior approval. You're not allowed to film in their Goodwill stores, period. Uh, Goodwill bins, uh, Goodwill regular stores, you just can't film in their stores. Without written permission. Without permission. Um, we don't have that. We don't have any rules saying you cannot film. Yet. Yet. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we know we know they're watching. No, please, they're, please don't do that. Please don't do that to us. Um, we like your stores. We spend a lot of money there. <laughs> we do. <laughs> spend a lot of money in your stores. We don't do that to us. Um, but what they know we're filming. Uh, they some of the employees have asked us. You know, what's your channel? Uh, they're very nice to us. They they like us. I think, and you know, we get so many compliments on this particular location of the Goodwill bins. There's a lot of people, a lot of viewers who have Goodwill bins in their area and they'll leave comments saying, oh my gosh, your Goodwill bin store is so clean. Um, it's so nice. People aren't trying to kill each other. Oh my gosh, we have a train going by. We're gonna have to stop the video and we'll be right back. <laughs> that was just the short train. That was the short train. <laughs> it came for me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, um, so like I was saying, we get a lot of compliments on our bins. I've heard horror stories from other locations where people just break out in fights and it's just scary stuff. But our bins are really nice and I think it's okay to showcase how nice our bins are. Mm -hmm. and, you know, we're getting compliments and so it's, it's good for them. And I think they realize that uh, we're showcasing them in a really good light. So... I, th I think they appreciate that. I would hope so. I mean, so number one, yeah, we're sourcing material for resale. Mm -hmm. But number two, with that exposure, people that normally wouldn't go to that store now will go to that store and spend their money there. And people that come in from out of town that watch these videos may stop by there and spend some money too. And people who didn't know that the bins outlets exist are searching for them because people yeah. have made comments, oh, I didn't even know this was a thing. I didn't either until I'm, just recently. Oh, I like, just Googled it and now I'm fine. Yeah, so it's it's opening, the opening these doors for Goodwill and you know, it's good for them, I think. <laughs> as far as I know it is. So. So it's not a bad thing that we're filming. We're allowed to film there. They have no issues with us filming there. Um, but in, on the same line as filming and also being See, too rough. One thing that might come into play, and, and this was just a thought I just had now, um, something that may come into play in different areas, different regions, different states, different cities, could be local laws, could be state laws. Um, 
there could be reasons why you're not allowed to film yeah, in, in private places. Um, those law, there could be laws in place why you're not allowed to film. Mm -hmm. Whereas here, there's obviously not anything that's known anyway to to put that policy out there. So yeah, now a lot of people, as far as going back to you know me being too rough in the bins and having to hold my camera, um, suggested a GoPro, and that kind of ties into the filming as well. Um, the concern with the GoPro is that. People get really uneasy when you have a GoPro strapped to you. They don't know if it's on. They don't know if you're filming them. And a lot of people get uneasy when you are you walk up to them with a GoPro. It's like, are you filming me right now? I mean, just the other time I was at the Goodwill, uh, the Goodwill bins, I had my camera up because I have it on a tripod. And I was filming myself, you know. And somebody just happened to be walking by. And he's like, you better not be filming me. It's like, oh, no, I would never film you without your permission. You know, but but if I had this GoPro strapped to me, it just opens the door to this confrontation with people that I'm really not looking for. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm not like, a confrontational person at all. For me personally, um, I don't really, honestly, I don't really care to be on camera. I don't, and, and if somebody's going to walk up to me and they've got a GoPro on and I don't know if they're filming me or not, it makes me really uncomfortable. Yeah. So I wouldn't want to put anybody else in that position. No. Um, I think it's better that the camera is obviously pointed at Yes, at you me or, or down in the bins, which right. is what I do. It's either pointed at me, pointed in the bins, or pointed at him, who doesn't like to be on camera like he just said. <laughs> I just, I, sometimes I make, it may, listen, it, if I'm prepared for it and I'm walking into it, it's it's okay but if i'm caught off guard and somebody just i'm like oh you got a camera on you yeah yeah it's weird yeah yeah there's a lot of people in the metal detecting community who use gopros and when they walk up to me and they've got their gopro it, it like i'm used to being on camera i i'm on camera like every single day of my life but it still makes me uncomfortable i don't know what it is about the gopro I think because of my camera, I can see myself in the screen and I, I'm looking at myself, but with the GoPro... It's... I think for me, it's a control factor. Um, I'm not in control of what's going on in that situation and I don't like it. And when I've got the camera and I can yeah, it that's out, true. I, I feel more comfortable because I'm putting the camera where I want the camera. So. I mean, they could be catching a bad angle and yeah. I don't like that. And I look and this fat. This is my good angle. I look fat when I turn sideways, so that's why I always. See, that's like the this. good one right there. With the long hair. This <laughs> one's not so great. Um. Anyway, anyway moving on. Um. Another concern that a lot of viewers have is taking stuff apart at the bins or taking pieces of part, pieces of things. For example, the finial. Um. When I took the finial off of that lamp, and people let me stop you right there, and let me stop you right there because you know what. She used a term. I did. She used I a, used she a term used, I should used, not have. She used, she used a phrase that she probably should have not used. But um, let me be very upfront and very clear on something. We don't steal squat from any of those stores. When she says, I'm stealing this finial off of this, it, it just means I'm taking it off. It was paid for. It was paid for. It's and at the stolen. end of the video, it, you actually see it on the counter being paid for. So. Yeah, so it's not Throw stolen. That out there. It's not actually stolen. It's just it's a just term a, I use. Yeah. It's a phrase I use. To colloquialism, I yes, guess. Yes, that I need to. Whew, that was a big word that hurt. Oh, it Ow. Oh, that. <laughs> oh, I need a sip of coffee after that one. Um, but, no, if we have to steal a dollar. 24 a pound household goods it's probably like and it weighs anyway. like 25 there's a huge problem maybe we should sell the 700 dollar camera <laughs> that's filming this right now or the other camera that's really expensive that films We're sometimes not selling my camera yeah I don't, I don't think we really need to steal a finial no pull your head out of the darkness I mean, there are a lot of people that were like... To put it nicely. And apparently some bins do not allow you to do that. So there was like legitimate questions about mm -hmm. that. And there's nothing wrong with that. But there were some people that were like, you're stealing that. I'm like, no, it was just what I said. And I didn't mean to say it. And you know, so... But again, we're able, if we're <laughs> able to salvage a little part off of something and reuse it somewhere. And it doesn't wind up in the landfill. What the hell's wrong with that? Ooh, Nothing. Oh, you can't say that word. We'll get demonetized. Shh. 
I'm gonna have to bleep that out. <laughs> no, but the lamp itself was not one that I could have sold. So, so it was just an issue of saving the, the finial. Stop playing with stuff from yesterday's haul. I'm comfortable having this in my hand. I've been doing this the entire time. I know, time. he's I've, playing I've got, with the egg cup. I've got this Oh, little... yeah, you had to bring up the fact that my haul is still on the table. Yep, I, purpose, I purposely brought the camera up so you guys couldn't see that I was just totally slacking and left yesterday's haul all over the table. It's right here. Mm. Thank you, thank you for that, Andrew. So is this. No, just stop. And this. I'm a rhinestone cowboy. <laughs> so I think, was that really everything we needed to talk about? I think it was. Because um, this morning we had this conversation and it, it was did. like a 45 minute conversation about everything we were going to talk about in this video. And I feel like we've talked about everything in like 10 minutes. I think it's because we've been through it once already. And so now it's just quicker. Yeah, the first time and it was like... It's kind of like when you're going somewhere, the first time you go, it takes flipping forever. And the second time it's just like... Or on your way home. Your way home is like, hey, honey, I'm home. You know oh, the, I'm that's home. how it works. Oh my God. <laughs> all right, so um, yeah, I, think, I really think that's all we had to say. But uh, we will be going, I will be going back to the bins. And I will be digging through the bins. And I apologize if you have a problem with, no, I don't apologize. I'm not apologizing for that. If you cannot watch the bins video, feel free to stick around for my other videos and just skip the bins videos. But please don't leave negative comments on the videos because I, I mean, I can deal with them. I can deal with constructive criticism, but eventually all the negative weight of the comments comes crushing down and I'm like, so this yeah. is why I don't like y'all will notice if you go to my channel, I answer comments and there's a reason because the comments are all nice. Mm. I, I don't get, have, I get wait, some really nice comments. No, 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 but I don't like, I don't like reading the comments elsewhere sometimes because they're not so nice and I want to, I want to retort but I can't because what I want to say can't be said. That's what Sue's for. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, I don't read the comments. So, um, we were kind of flipping through some of them tonight, sitting here prepping for this video. And I did see some of the comments, some of the really nice ones and some of the ones that mentioned me in, in those comments. And I'd like to say thank you to those folks. Yeah. Um, that's the stuff that keeps us going, wanting to, wanting us to go to the bins. I'm going to the bins. I'm not filming the bins. Those of you who are watching the videos, enjoying them, and not leaving any comments at all, if you want to leave positive comments and encouraging comments, that would be awesome. I really appreciate your encouraging comments. I know I don't always respond, but I do read them, and I do appreciate them. Um, I just, I get, I get overwhelmed with... I respond to all my comments. I you know. <laughs> You have, to, you have to go there. Um, but anyway, <laughs> we've got two channels with over 60,000 yeah, subscribers, and it just gets overwhelming. Um, but anyway, I appreciate all of you, and um, we'll see you. T well, I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe I'll put some. Maybe I'll do a bins video on my channel. Oh. Maybe. But, oh. like, I don't want to see some, like, seriously nasty comments, especially on this video. Hmm. You better go leave some nice comments on your channel. I don't care if they're on my channel. You gotta be nice on your channel. Oh, okay. That's the way it works. <laughs> All right, well, we will see you guys later. Bye. You're not close enough. <laughs> no, you're too close. <laughs> um, Andrew, I'm trying to take a thumbnail here. Make a serious face. <laughs> I can't even. Come here, baby. I love you. No! We need a thumbnail! Mm. Why do you have to be so silly with your serious face? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have to be so silly with your serious face? One more time. Can you imagine the blooper reel that This is going in the video. Okay.
<laughs> Don't say bad words. It's going in the video. All right, mean mug. All right, that's good. <laughs> All right.